What's up guys, Polly Popo here. Very excited to be on the channel with you guys today. Someone wanted me to start the uh, video out with a song, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And then we're gonna jump in to how we're gonna use these folders and how we're gonna navigate and do some cool stuff with that, all right? But first, let's listen to this little song that I made using the techniques that I showed you on the last couple of videos. It's pretty dope. What's good? My name is Polly Popo. I'm very excited to be on the channel with you guys today. Thank you very much for coming in. What we're going to do today is I want to show you guys these folders on your MPC. Whenever you're trying to do stuff in a hurry, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Whenever you're trying to do stuff like in a hurry and you're trying to be organized, I never really did this that much on my MPC. Um, but when you go into your browser, you have these folders up here and it's like where do they take you they take you to some random places and it's hard to set so i just want to show you how to set these folders okay um if you're on your so okay let's do this here if you're on your desktop here what we're gonna do is we're gonna select uh, an expansion okay and let's go into pad tie and let's say we like these we, we like these sounds right here okay and from now on, I want this folder, I want folder one to be my pad tie because that's my number one to go to, okay? So all you're going to do is hold down shift on your MPC and hit the folder, okay? Big shout out to my brother. I, I gave him an MPC Live 2 uh, retro and he has been tearing it up and he showed me, uh, he's been digging his own research. So I thought I would show this on here because it's valuable information. Again. You go over here, you got your folder, and you do this for each one, all right? Look at that. It goes right there to Boom Bap Kit on the pad tie. Now let's go here. Platinum. If you hit folder 2, it's going to take you to splice. If I hit platinum again, and I hold down the shift button, and I hit 2, now when I hit this folder, it's going to take me to Boom Bap, and number 2 is going to take me to platinum. All right? I think that's really, really dope. I don't think there's a way to select two folders on here, is there? It's showing me that I did. I know you get five folders on here, and it's very, very dope. Now, on the MPC, if you didn't catch that, I'm going to show you on the software itself. Um, again, you have these folders. And it's like, where do these folders take you? They take you... This one here takes you to boom bap all the waves and everything. Let's say you want this to take you to the boom bap kits okay or let's say you want to go to your documents or your desktop because i have all of my expansions on my desktop okay let's go to expansions and i want to say um let's go to soul provider 3 okay now i want my soul provider 3 on this folder right here so i'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then click the folder so now this folder will take me every time to my hip hop kit. Guys, it's just a short little trick that, again, you know, I always give credit when it's due. It's my, my brother actually showed me this, so it's really, really cool. And I might actually have him on the channel because we have a lot of fun whenever we're doing a lot of stuff. We're getting into, like, sync licensing music and all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm spitting on myself. 
<clears throat> but anyway, again, I'm Polly Popo. If you guys, I've done so many one-on-one -on -one tutorials. I have a super dope course coming, and it's going to be, I'm just telling you right now, it's going to be super dope, all right? Um, what I want to do right now is just go ahead and just play the rest of this song for you guys and let you be on your way. But I just wanted to go out and test out this microphone, the camera setup and everything, just to see how everything was going, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and stop this song and start it again. I'm going to unmute everything just like I was going to play it. Go to track mute. Unmute all my parts. And how I did this, I went into my key range on my empty track. And you go to edit instruments. You go to your key ranges and you select all your instruments. So anything that I play plays over the master track. I've been trying to find a way to utilize this because you can't mute out different. I went over this in a last video. This controls the whole thing. But if you play over it, it lets you bring in a bass line kind of like I was doing earlier. So let me go ahead and do that one more time. Again, all we did was select where we want this folder to take us. On the computer, we went to here. And say we want to go desktop, documents, desktop. Let's go to music, all my samples. There's nothing there because they're all waves, right? These are all my samples. I want that to be on folder one from now on. So all I do, I hit, hold down shift and hit one. Now, anytime that I want my samples there, they're locked in. Bam, got them all, okay? And it shows me that I have them copied in two places, which is super, super dope, super helpful. Really nice, and uh, Akai, for throwing that in there. But, uh, yeah, I have a copy in two different places. So it lets you know that. It's really, really dope. Other than that, back on to where we're on the freaking keys here, which I love this thing. But like I say, it does a control over the master track, and it affects everything that you recorded before. So it's kind of weird. But I'm Polly Popo. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. I go over tips and tricks all the time, at least twice a week. Right on, I'll see you guys on the next one.